Okay, so this is going to be my review of Beaver Creek Golf Course in Hagerstown, Maryland. It's a 7,000-yard course from the Blues, which are the back tees, and it's slope 135. And I would say it was a modestly expensive round today. I got a $40 afternoon round on um, golf now. And I guess what I want to say is it was a, it was a good course. Now, I don't think it was a great course, but it had... All the elements of a decent course. It was a nice layout. It had good verticality. It had some sloping left to right, which I haven't seen in a, in a while. It had um, a fair amount of elevated tees, my elevated greens and elevated tees also, and um, some modest carry over some waste and water. Nothing really, you know, big a big deal. Some. Uh, OB around the outside of the course, some houses around the outside, about half the course around the outside. It, it had a, a good mix of good things and not too many bad things. And certainly I think 16, 15, 16, 17, and 18 were, were definitely, you know, the showcase holes of the course. Maybe number nine also, uh, probably number two. But none of the holes were really easy, but none of them were really that hard either. It was a good mix, a good all-around mix of a course. It has a little bit too much houses going on on the side and a little bit too much road noise. There's there's 70 you can hear. There's 40 you can hear. There's you know the road that goes in front of the house where the parking lot is, and there's a road that goes next to the house where the tee boxes are for 12 through 18. And it's a good course, not too tight, not too hard, not too easy. Not too flat, not too vertical. It's nice in the middle. I, I think it's a good all-around course. And the food was reasonably priced also. I think it's a little bit better in Black Rock, a little bit more sane than Maryland National, but still a good solid golf course. I guess there's a few things that I definitely should point out, though. While I do think it's a good course, it, it does meet, I guess, the normal definition of a golf course pretty well. Uh, in 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 terms of the greens, the grass, the layout, the difficulty, uh, and so forth. I mean, I wouldn't say that this is a really interesting course. That's one thing I really think it really falls a little down on. Um, certainly, I think that I would call this an a, an adequate course, a suitable course for a beginning to intermediate player uh, and possibly a a long hitter who uh, isn't looking for too much of a course to challenge them other than the length because it is a 7,000 yard course in the back tees but it's it's just not a difficult course to play and it certainly doesn't have that borderline craziness of black rock especially the front side of black rock and it definitely is not as difficult or as crazy as Maryland National. If if this course is a 135 from the back tees, then BlackRock is easily a 150 and Maryland National is easily a 160, 175 slope course. The, there's no question about the fact that in terms of a challenge of a course, both BlackRock and Maryland National, which are right around the corner from this course, not to mention Richland is, is right down the street, any of those, I would say maybe not Richland, but certainly the other ones, any of the, any, either Black Rock or Maryland National are going to be a tougher, more challenging course to play than Beaver Creek. However, Beaver Creek is going to be a more normal course to play. It's the kind of course that you, you wouldn't take someone who likes to play adventure golf, but you'd like you, you take somebody who likes to play a normal round of golf who might find um, some other courses to be too flat, like Algonquin or, or Brambleton, to be a little bit too flat, a little bit too easy, a little bit too mundane. Um, this, this course has the panache of a good course. It has... A decent amount of difficulty, decent level of difficulty, a decent challenge. I do think that some of the holes like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 can get to be repetitive. And also that 
they're tucked in that corner of the course where there is just a little bit too much road noise and housing presence. And I think that's the one part of the course that really doesn't carry its weight, let's say. But there's still good hitting holes. There's there's definitely a decent challenge of your golf game, and there's no question that those holes are decent playing holes. But they are in no way, shape, or form a challenge of a course. Even 15, 16, 17 with those, with those two lakes on the side, that's just not anywhere near the level of difficulty of a course like, like uh, Black Rock, not to mention Maryland National, which is easily like on off to the right of, of you know a sane golf course. Maryland National is so difficult, so twisted, so mental of a course. I can hardly imagine that anyone even plays it who isn't on medication for something like Ritalin or, or something like that. It really is that hard of a course, that challenging of a course. I, I can't think of too many courses that I would say that Beaver Creek is more of a challenge of in terms of the you know insanity factor, but it certainly is more of a challenge that, than a lot of courses in terms of the length of the course combined with the quality of the holes. In that regard, it is certainly a very good course. No question about that. It's better than a lot of courses that I've played in D.C. area, but I would never, ever say that it is a mental course like, you know, Maryland National or Whiskey Creek even. even. Certainly not uh, Little Bennett. No question about that. Um, there are a lot of other courses in the area that bring the adrenaline, you know, much stronger than Beaver Creek does. But that is, that is, like I said, that's its strength and its weakness at the same time. It's not an insane course. It's a normal course. If you want to play a decent normal course, this is a good course to play. If you want to play something that's a challenge, I would say this course you know, is, is just not going to rock your socks. It's, it's not going to make you go, wow, that was really fun, or wow, that was, there were was some really crazy holes on it. That's not what this course is. It, it is a decent practice round for a good player, I would say, more than anything else. But it is good at that, but certainly not something I would say, well, you know, I, I'd wake up in the morning and go, man, I'm going to go out and play Beaver, Beaver Creek. You know, like I would say, man, I'm going to go out and play Maryland National. No, it just wouldn't happen. But other than that, you know, if you take that away, take that factor out of the equation, it's a good course. If, if, you, if you put blinders on and don't look over the mountain, it's a good course. No question about it. It's a decent, solid, respectable, well-playing golf course for the 70th percentile of the golf community. It, it is not going to let you down in terms of a challenging round if you're worried about going out and hitting good shots and scoring well. Even the greens are not big greens. They're good grass. They're certainly, I like enjoyed putting them. It was certainly fun to putt on greens this good. You know, and, and the course wasn't over-trapped or over-wasted or anything like that, but it had a respectable amount. It was a respectable course. Nothing more. With a few problems that I think brought it down from a really good course to just a okay or, eh, it's pretty good. It's a decent course. No question about it. So I'm just going to say... I'd recommend this course. I'll give it a B. It's it's a decent course to play. I certainly would put it on my round. I would say this course is a solid B, and I can hardly recommend it. That is Beaver Creek Country Club in Hagerstown, Maryland.